Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, joined with my son, Gordon Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our science tutorial videos. In our last video, we covered non-Mendelian genetics with co-dominance and incomplete dominance. In today's video, we will identify and explain patterns of inheritance and sex-linked traits. So, so let's, let's do, do this. Our learning target for today is Number 1. I can identify and explain patterns of inheritance and sex-linked traits. Let's take a deep dive into sex-linked traits. And these are traits that are carried on the X or Y chromosome. And traits on the Y chromosome are found only in males and are passed directly from father to son. Remember, females do not have a Y chromosome. So a male is going to have an X and a Y chromosome. And it's, if the father has that trait, it's going to be passed directly to his son since his son has a Y chromosome as well. And then recessive sex link traits are more common than dominant sex link traits. And males are more likely to have sex link conditions than females due to having only one X chromosome. Most females can be carriers for a certain trait. So let's take a look at this. A female is going to have an X, but she's going to have an additional X to actually mask or cover that trait. So she won't have that condition more times than not. But if you notice, here's an X right here for a male and a Y right here and he only has one X so if the mother if the mother carries that trait then it's going to be passed on to the son because he only has one X and doesn't have an additional X to mask or cover that trait so let's look at this punnett square right here and we'll look at sex link traits by looking at hemophilia so a normal man marries and has children with a female who is a carrier for hemophilia so a normal man he's going to have that big H that stands for normal and then he's going to have this Y right here but he marries a female who is a carrier for hemophilia. So she's going to have his X, but she's going to have that lowercase h since she's a carrier. And then she's going to have an additional X. So now let's do our cross. We have our X with our big H. And then we have our X with our lowercase h. So this is going to be a female who is going to be a carrier of the hemophilia trait. And then here's our next cross. Here's our X with our lowercase h. And then here's our Y. So this is going to be a male who's going to have the condition or who's going to have hemophilia Y because he doesn't have an additional X right here. And then let's do our next cross. We have an X with a big H. And then we have an X. So this is going to be a normal female who does not have the hemophilia trait and who is not a carrier for the hemophilia trait. And then here's our X and Y, and this is gonna be a normal male who is not going to have the hemophilia condition. So chances of having a hemophilia hemophilia child is going to be a 25% chance, so one out of four. Uh, the chances of having a hemophiliac son, remember we have two sons, so it's going to be a one out of two, which means that's going to be a 50% chance of having a hemophiliac son. And then having a hemophiliac daughter, our daughter's 0% is going to be that number because neither of the daughters have hemophilia, but one of the daughters does carry the trait. So let's take a look at some more information on sex-linked inheritance. And the X chromosome may contain alleles for the following. So it could be hemophilia, color blindness, baldness, or muscular dystrophy. And these X-linked recessive disorders predominantly affect males. And let's take a closer look at why. So if you notice, a female has an additional X chromosome to mask or cover that trait. So that would make her more likely a carrier for it. But if you notice, this male only has one X chromosome. So if the mother has it on her X chromosome and she has a son, then the son is going to inherit that trait and he's going to have that condition because he only has one X chromosome. Let's take an even deeper dive to discuss or show why sex linked traits predominantly affect males. So like we stated before, females have two X chromosomes, so the X-linked recessive diseases will not affect them. So look at this female right here. Notice her phenotype is going to be normal, but she has two X's. But now let's look at hemophilia. So she has this additional X to mask and cover that trait, so she won't have hemophilia, but she'll be a carrier for it. Same thing with color blindness. So she's a carrier for the trait, but she doesn't have it or have the condition herself. And then same thing for baldness. She'll be a carrier for the trait for baldness, but won't have baldness herself. Why? Because she has an additional X chromosome. But however, males only have one X chromosome. So if you look right here, here's a normal male right here. But then if you look at this male right here, he has the hemophilia condition why? Because he only has one X chromosome, so he, he inherits that trait. 
And then this male right here is going to have color blindness. Why? Once again, because he only has one X chromosome. And then here's that uh, male right here, and he's going to have baldness. Why? Because he only has one X. And see, he's balding right here. And see, I have a bald head myself. So thanks, Mom, for that. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knobs to see how proficient you are with identifying and explaining patterns of inheritance and sex link traits by taking our video quiz. Use sure let's turn on the price to scan the QR code at the bottom right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency, record your results on your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better keep going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and also click the bell icon so you don't miss it on any of our awesome videos. Peace, and have a positive, productive day.